If you have need for a special prayer, please make your prayer request at www.victoryworldprayerrequest at gmail.com or go to our website, www.victorywordchurch.org and hit the prayer request tab and it will go directly to our pastor and he will pray with him for you. As always, please remember to keep our pastors and our leaders in our prayers as they are our minors too. Our prayers are purposeless. Our Victory Word Church family, Pastor Dio and First Lady Harvell, and New Life Ministries Worldwide family, the Spiritual Church of this Army, Pastor Romarco and First Lady Pittman, and the New Prosperity Baptist Church, Bishop Leonard Gardner and family, Pastor Gregory and Lady Smith, and the Zion Hill Baptist Church. Pastor James and First Lady Reigns and the Ecclesia Christian Ministries. Pastor Doran and Lady Sylvia Morrison and the Higher Praise Worship Center. Pastor James and First Lady Minnick and the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church. Brother Andrew Oliver, our college student, Sister Boston Oliver, Sister Kayla Marshall, Sister Marcina Golden, and Sister Marcy Mills Golden. Minister Louis Clay and family, Sister Marsha White, Sister Vine Brown, Pastor Janie Lee, Minister Carol Hicks and family, Sister Nikki Swan, the Hodges family, the family of the late uh, Madam Maggie B.C., uh, Denise Hawkinson family, the Stallworth family, Pastor Aaron Bosley Sr. and family. Pastor James Marks and family and our Richie Word Church located in the country of India. Pastor Jose Daniel and family and our Richie Word Church located in the country of Kenya. All of the school assistants on all levels, first responders and healthcare and essential workers and our college students that are heading back and have heading back to campus for the fall semester. And a very special prayer for the sick and shut in and the bereaved. If you have anyone to add to our prayers purpose list, just give us a call at the office. Phone number 313-243-4512. Don't forget to go to our Facebook page every Monday for the anointed for the week. And remember, we are living our future now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on. Put those words hands together. Thank you for your attention to those announcements. All right. We're going to bring our pastor forward. Let's receive our pastor. The shepherd of Victory Word Church, Detroit, Michigan. Good morning, Victory Word. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I've been waiting all week long to worship God with an anointed vessel just like you. Take your neighbor by the hand. Take your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, it's another good day to have a God day. I love you to life in Christ Jesus. Loves you all the more. Now give God a great big hand for me. We thank God for this day. We thank him because not only is he God, but he is our Father. Would you well, I'd like to thank you for those who came out last Sunday for our curbside service. It was a great service. We had a great time. And we thank God for all those who were able to make it. And for those who couldn't make it, I'm glad that you were able to still watch us virtually. Amen. And today we're in, you know, in the midst of a good time. Amen. We thank God for all that he has done. This has been a very challenging week for Pastor, but because of God's grace, we're here today. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Would you bow your heads as we pray this morning? 
Most gracious Father, we come before you first and foremost saying thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you've bestowed upon us. Father, we thank you for keeping us in our right mind. We thank you that you kept your arms of protection around us. Yes. And Father, even though we're going through, we're still not through going. And we praise you for giving us the strength to continue to keep going. And so, Father, do as you've always done. Fall fresh in this house today. As the word comes forth today, Father, let it touch each and every one that's under the sound of my voice. Father, I ask you to bring peace to a confused mind. Father, I ask you to bring healing to a hurting body. Father, I ask you to touch those that are going through mourning right now. Father, I ask you to put your arms of protection and give us a garment of praise so that we'll be able to continue to lift up your name. And so, Father, I ask you to have your way in this house once again. Have your way in this house once again, God, because you are God and our Father, who art in heaven and holy is your name. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for all that you have done, all that you're doing, and all that you're going to do. That is my prayer, and it is so, and it is so, and it is so, in Jesus' name. Amen, and praise God. Well, if you word. It gives me great pleasure to bring to you our co-lead elder, Elder Geraldine Cochran, will be bringing us the word this morning. Put your hands together and receive her as she comes. Amen. 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 Therefore, my brothers and sisters, 
Make every effort to confirm your calling and election. For if you do these things, you will never stop. And if you will receive, and you will receive a rich welcome and the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. And this is, and we're speaking about today. My topic today is the uncomfortable stretch. My, my, All right. My, my. All right. Now. We already know. <laughs> if any of you have gotten out of bed in the morning, yeah, and took that stretch, oh my and you God. heard bones and creaks and whatever it is. Yes. After the stretch, though, even after that, it was a good feeling. Yeah. Because what you loosen up some stuff. Yes. Right. See, when you're stretching, it's painful. Any pro athlete know before I do any type of work. I got to stretch. That's right. Why do I need to stretch? Because I need to be more flexible so I don't hurt something. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when God is asking us to stretch, he's asking you to become more flexible. Come on. Yeah. More bigger. Right, yeah. More bigger more to my will and more bigger more to my will. So if I'm going to stretch, I need to be able to stretch not according to my will, but according to the will of God. Yeah. You know, we can stretch any way we want to because, you know, when I stretch,
Uh-huh. Yeah. And God said to me one day, I was thinking about it. He said, well, what do I deserve? All right, all right. You talk about what you deserve. What do I deserve? Come on. I'm the one that gave you the strength to get that. I'm the one that gave you the job to get your the strength to get you the job to get that. What do I deserve? Yes. I got to get over myself. That's a stretch. And see, that's another, another stretch is seeing how a pastor says there's brighter days ahead and we want to stay in cloudiness. And myself, I'm like, why don't you just take what he just said and move? My stretch is let you be comfortable with where you at until you see it the way you're supposed to see it. And some of don't worry about it. Some people will never see it. Right. That's right. That's right. And it's their prerogative to never see it. That's right. And it's your prerogative to pray and keep it moving. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And see, some things we want to keep for everything in our lives that was not good for us. Another is of a pastor said, you can't pass, you have to subtract some things in order to add some things. That's right. That's right. So I need to subtract myself in order to add God. All right. All right. Ain't that hard to do sometimes? Yes. Yeah. Tell yourself to shut up. It ain't your business. Well, Let other people do what they want to do. Yeah. You do. What if I can worry about why you ain't doing something? Then I will have to worry about somebody else not doing something. <laughs> Teach. Oh, I, said, I heard Pastor say in January, he, he preached a sermon in January. He said, January, he said, I'm doing something new. <laughs> and he said, when you give away today's happiness to embrace tomorrow's uncertainty, you shut down what you deserve and settle for what's there. Yeah, wow. wow. I said that. Wow. I said, I said uh, why do we settle for what's there when he said that the cattle on the hills are yours, the gold and silvers are yours, but I'm looking at pennies and counting quarters when I got gold. Yeah. But I don't yeah. want to stretch to get that gold because there's an effort to be made. Yeah. yeah. See, you got to understand, our lives and our faith are one in the stretch. Okay. My growth is in the stretch. My joy is in the stretch. Right. My peace is in the stretch. Yes, yes. And I don't want you just settle for no any and everything. Okay. And sometimes we think that maturity is going to is is about age, but maturity doesn't come with age. <laughs> Growing old is not the same as growing up. Growing up is in the stretch. Come on, right. man. Yeah. Yes. Have you not seen some forty-year-old children? Yes. 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 Why? Because I'm constantly going over what happened to me yesterday instead of moving on. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Hmm. See, Pastor is trying to stretch us to God so that God can strengthen us yes. and bless us, and we don't get sidelined and delayed. When things come to overtake us. And they're coming. So what I need to do is say, God, help me. And when I say, God, help me, I need to be able to hear him tell me where I need to help. You. Yeah. Right, right, right. See, when you supposed to, see, if you listen to God, he will show you who and what and where. Yeah. And when I say that, just who you're supposed to be with. What you're supposed to be doing right. and where you are supposed to be. Right, right. More importantly, yeah. he, will, he will show you who you're not supposed to be with, oh, yeah. what you're not supposed to be oh, doing, yeah. and where you should be. Yeah. All right. All right. So, we got to get out of this comfort because comfort traps us. Yeah. The more comfortable we are, the less we are to move. You get into that chair. And, and you get into this big, yeah, and you got your feet reclined, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. just living the life. You got your little drink right there, yeah, yeah. and you just living the life, living for local, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you're sitting there, and you're comfortable. And then all of a sudden, the phone rings, and it's one of your people, and they said, I need you. Yeah. I, got yeah. I need you now. I got and you thinking in your head, I told you not to go there. Mm-hmm. I told you not to do that. Right. I told you. Yeah, but I did it. Mm-hmm. So what you going to do? I got to stretch myself out of my comfortable, comfortable zone and get into my uncomfortable zone. Mm-hmm. I'm not telling you how bad I want to cuss you out. Right. Well. Because you're doing what I told you not. If you got children and you don't tell them what not to do, when not to do it, and they do it anyways, and then they got to come back to you for help. Mm-hmm. Stretch yeah. yourself. <laughs> stretch yourself. To those who want it, God is refining us. He's making us uncomfortable, dependent. He's revealing his strength.
in our weakness. Yes, he is. Yes, That's he if is. we want it. And you know what I thought about it? I said, this is very ironic because when the God of all comfort makes you uncomfortable, mm -hmm. he is the one that's going to comfort you. But he's the one. You know, um, Bishop Cox told us one time, my former pastor, um, whom I loved, said that when an eagle wants her birds to get out of the nest, she places thorns in the nest to make the birds uncomfortable so they leave. Yeah. God is putting us in positions that's supposed to make us uncomfortable, not to stay there and, and deal with it, but to get out of it. Yeah. Come on, come on. Get out of it. Get out of it. Yes, there's victory in the stretch, and I can't stop because it's too hard. I can survive the stretch. I'm made to stretch. Yeah. My name ain't Gumby, but I'm made to stretch. <laughs> I can be bendable. Yeah. I can bend to anything else I want to bend to. I can take anything else I want to take. Why can't I be stretchable and bendable for the will of God? Come on, come on. I want to live. And I want to do it right. Yeah. And I don't want to stop being flexible. Right. To do those who want it, Remember, God is refining us. He's making us uncomfortable and dependent. Yeah. I can depend on him. Because you know what? He who does the stretching also does the healing. Yeah. Yeah. He's my masseuse. He's my chiropractor. Uh. Come on now. <laughs> so what if I'm uncomfortable? He knows how far to bend me. Yeah. He gives me enough grace to get there. And then when I get there, he said, don't stop. I got another stretch for you. Yeah. Do you want what God has for you? Can I come out of myself enough to see that there's better and brighter days ahead? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. what is brighter for me is not where I'm at right now. Yeah. But I can be satisfied, comfortable right here for the moment. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be dissatisfied where I'm at because I get anxious. And when I get anxious, I get frustrated. Yeah. And when I get frustrated, oh, I get things wrong. No, no, no. And when I get the focus, I can't hear God. Yeah. So I Said it today. We have to be consistent in our worship. Yes. 
consistent in our praise, consistent in our giving, consistent in our reaping and sowing. And we have to know that God will do just what he said he would do. That blessed my soul. It blessed my spirit. I hope it blessed you. Those that were in tune would know, will know. And I got to continue to stretch. I got to continue to stretch. In season, I'm stretching. Out of season. Sometimes with tears in my eyes, I'm stretching. Yes, yes, Even some days with a smile on my face. Yes. Stretch. I'm getting out of my comfort zone. Is there anyone under the sound of my voice willing to get out of their comfort zone yes, for the uncomfortable stretch? We thank God. We thank God. At this time, if there's one that would like to give their life to Christ, to be a part of this family, God's family, spiritual faith. Just pray the simple prayer with me. Lord, I'm a sinner. I surrender my heart. I surrender my, my soul, my spirit. I surrender myself. I'm willing to stretch. Lord, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, I want to stretch. I want to be part of you. I give myself back to you. Yes. And I say thank you. If you prayed that simple prayer with me, you just came back into God's family. It's simple as that. Because you give the preacher your hands, but you give God your heart. It's that easy. It's that simple. Now it's time to go to work. It's time to stretch. If there's one that would like to be a part of the Victory Word Church, we're here at the Victory Word Church. It's a judgment-free zone. We don't beat you up. We pick you up. We watch God lift you up. If you'd like to be a part of this ministry, just call our church office at 313-243-4512. And you'll we'll be glad to join this ministry. Why, Pastor? Because there's victory in the world. And we're living our future. Well, we look forward to seeing you next week, Labor Day weekend. Have a good, good week this week as you as you're going back and forth to work or whatever you have, wherever your life carries you this week. Just remember, you gotta stretch. You gotta stretch. Well, victory world, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. We ready to go? Let's go. Let's go, victory world.